Ready? Yeah, I think so. And so, old friends gather to remember their fallen comrade in this bittersweet... I'm sorry, but funerals are weird. I'm not so good at narrating these. They kind of give me the creeps. You have people crying, people you barely even know, and what do you say to that? All in all, it's a really sticky situation, and... Ooh, someone's about to speak. So we just started serenading the waitress, top of his lungs, till she agreed to go out with him. It was classic. I'm still in shock. What exactly happened? He was hit by a train. It's really sad. I think I got shot with her. Oh my god. Josh, she's just, she's grieving someone that she's truly cared about and you're seriously thinking about taking advantage no, of her right now? No, 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 not taking oh. advantage of her. Just, just comforting her. With sex. Oh. <laughs> I just can't go on living without him. You don't understand. <laughs> he was the love of my life. <laughs> he wasn't. I'm gonna go put on some music, okay? Isn't this music? Are you comfortable? Are you comfortable? Are you comfortable? I'm gonna go. Are you comfortable? I'd give anything to be with him again. <laughs> I'm gonna continue with my work. I think that's what RJ would have wanted. My next movie is gonna be called Death of a Dying Peacock. It's part my response to March of the Penguins, part my desire to destroy something beautiful. I mean, a one man boy band. I thought it was genius. Some of those songs, they, they touched me. I mean, they, they touched me. They really touched me. Do you know what I mean? I mean, the, the experience. Spiritual, no. Even more than that, it was genetic. I just feel it inside me. Here, here, I, I brought you something to drink. Thanks. I think I'm gonna need another one. At first, I thought these napkins had jokes on them, but I don't really get it. No, that's my script. Come back. I need that. Oh, shit. Annie, you're such a good person. I can't believe you paid for all of this. No, it was the least I could do. No, really, it's more than that. You're such a good friend to these guys. You're such a good friend to me. I don't want us to lose touch again. We live so close by. We should see each other more. Well, you know we can, I promise. Like, you can start having dinner at my place every, every week and we can just make it a tradition. That would be so much fun, we should. Then we can call Josh and have a three-way with him in winter. I really don't get why that phrase is catching on so much. But Josh told me RJ was mauled by a bear. Ahem. <clears throat> um, uh, if everyone could take their seats, I think we're ready to get started. It's really good to see so many old friends out here in the audience. Glad you guys traveled all this way. Um, you know, I really want to start off by, uh, by thanking Danny Benton for making all this possible. And while I'm at it, I want to thank RJ for making all this possible. Because if he hadn't died, none of us would be here right now. All right? Yeah, you guys know what I'm talking about. Yeah. So, um, as most of you know, uh, RJ was the uh, sole member of the one-man boy band. And uh, he spent most of his life trying to get another hit. Fortunately for him, eventually he did. When he was hit by a bus! <laughs> you guys? Yeah? You know, because that's how he died. Okay, let's talk about necrophilia. <laughs> Believe it or not, things just went downhill from here. Unfortunately, FCC regulations prevent us from showing you just how bad things got, so we'll just skip ahead. This is my movie. It's not very good. We remember R.J. Kincaid, a young man of great virtue and energy, never afraid to enjoy the fruits of life. And as we recall his words and actions, 
we must not dote on his loss. For death is but another slice by the great samurai of life, and we must obey. A single yellow flower differentiates itself from the rest with the scent, and I find its beauty overpowering. It is ripe for the plucking, it is ripe for the burning, and all will rejoice, for it has become winter in spring. Our Jake and Cade was one of those rare people who never gave up on his dreams. And I'm very lucky to have been able to call him my friend. There was a time when RJ, Josh, Winter, and I were closer than brothers. And those were some of the greatest times that I can remember. Thank and you I, very much, Danny. That was, that was really beautiful. But I'm not done. I, I, I think that there's an important lesson in there for each and here. every one of us. I'm not done. But now... It is time for the moment you have all been waiting for. Ladies and gentlemen, without any further ado, Mr. RJ Kincaid! Wait, what? Now I've come back from the grave to your heart Cause I wanted to make a fresh start So I'm not really dead, just selling records instead So buy my latest album Back from the grave to your heart Everybody! Clap your hands. It's my funeral. No, 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 really. It's my funeral. When I say RJ, you say yeah. RJ, yeah. RJ, yeah. When I say RJ, you say what? RJ, what? RJ, what? Yeah, that's right. Thank you. Thank you very much. What the hell is this? Dan, it's me. It's RJ. I'm not really dead. It's my comeback tour. I really want to kick things off with a bang. You faked your own death. What's more impressive than a resurrection? And besides, dying has always helped artists reinvigorate their careers. Think about it. Tupac, Kurt Cobain, Jesus. I'm just the only one smart enough to cash in on it. Whoa, whoa wait. You guys were all in on this? The whole time. Here, no. winner, get a close up on his reaction. This is priceless. No, 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 this is, no. <laughs> I can't believe this. You guys, you guys have done a lot of stupid stuff in the past. But you, you can't act like this. You can't fool with people's emotions. I can't even look at you. Turn off that camera. God. Jeez. What's his problem? <laughs> Got me. Danny, wait! He's back. He's really back. It's the happiest day of my life. <gasps> Winter, a little help here? No. <sighs> Who is that? It's Danny's new girlfriend. <laughs> I think I've got a shot with her. But you said that you didn't like her. Shut up, Winner. Michelle, you came. I did. When they told me you died, I'd hoped and I prayed that it was a joke or a lie or something. But it's not. No, no, baby. I've come back from the grave to your heart. And this time, I'm staying good. You want to do dinner sometime soon? Like tonight? Um, I am supposed to meet a friend for dinner. OK, tomorrow night? I'm having dinner with my sister. You told me you didn't have a sister. I mean, I'm, I'm having dinner with my brother. My brother. Next Friday? Um, I have to... Uh, I'll, I'll catch you next time you're in town. Just give me a call or something. We'll catch up. God damn it! <laughs>